video on my morning routine, the things I do in the morning, right when I get up, just before I start my day, just to get myself kind of going and moving. I think it's important to have a morning routine so that you start off the day right, uh, you know, set it off with that healthy, positive vibe so it carries on throughout the day instead of just waking up and, and not really having a routine or kind of being scattered. Have a morning routine, start off the day right. This is mine. Just want to establish I'm not a morning person, I'm more of a night person. First thing I like to do, get this coffee going, a little espresso. While the coffee's a brewing, I'll make myself some lemon water. I got some lemon water. Got the lemon juice, add the water to it. Nice tall pint glass. Now I'll use the pint glass of lemon water to take my vitamins and supplements, which I'll do another video at some other point with what exactly I take in the morning. Lemon water is good in the morning. You should drink water in the morning, even if you're gonna have your coffee. Take down some lemon water. It'll give you some instant energy that you'll see from the sugars in the lemon. Uh, it's not like having regular sugar. It's, it actually gets used better in your body than just having regular sugar. Sugar from fruit is always better than regular sugar. Lemon is acidic, but when it gets into your body, it turns more into a base. So it, it actually helps bring the acidity level in your body down. I know it sounds a little weird, but just, it's science. And if you're trying to grow muscles or basically just for the well-being of your body, your body works better, functions better in less of an acidic state. If it's very high acidic, that's not good. That's when you start to have problems and issues and have lemon, put lemon in your water. It'll help you with digestion and again with the base. And again with the base. Coffee's done. Very hot, very, very hot. This is what we're gonna do with this. Instead of putting regular sugar in my coffee, I like to use honey instead. It's more natural, breaks up in the body better, your body uses it better, it won't give you that spike in blood sugar and then that plummet drop. It'll just use the sugar energy a little bit more leveled throughout the day instead of the spike and drop like regular sugar. It's perfect because the coffee's really hot so the honey is just gonna melt right in there. I'm gonna leave this spoon in here because it's gonna it's still really hot. The spoon's metal, so it's gonna absorb the heat. So this will cool off quicker than if you just let it sit and wait for it to cool off. Little tip. So I'll leave the spoon in, put it aside, and I'll start making my actual breakfast. Here's a quick little tip if you want your teeth to be a little bit whiter. I just recently started doing this about two and a half weeks ago, and I've seen a difference already. It's called oil pulling. What oil pulling is, is you grab an oil, you can do it with coconut oil, vegetable oil, uh, I believe you can do it with pretty much any kind of uh, cooking oil. You take a swig of the oil, like a shot worth, and you just swish it around your mouth for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I'll do it for about 10. Uh, and just swish it around your mouth, keep swishing around, and then once that time is over, spit it out, rinse out your mouth, and that's it. And what happens is, while you're swishing it around, the oil tends to pull the stains from your teeth. Again, it's science. And it actually works. I've definitely seen a difference. So what I'll do is I'll take a swig of this while I'm waiting for my coffee to cool down and while I'm making my breakfast shake. While he's doing the oil pulling, I'll just explain a little bit. You got the kale in there, the spinach. 
chopping up uh, some carrots, some cucumbers, avocado, I'm gonna chop that up, throw that in there. That's the way I like to do it, slice it in half. Almond butter. This is the healthier almond butter now. They, you, I wouldn't be putting Skippy peanut butter in these kind of shakes. It's not good. They have a lot of extra sugars and stuff like that in it. You know, get the pure brands uh, in your local stores. A lot of them carry it now. It's so much better these days than it used to be with getting this healthier uh, versions of stuff. So this is almond butter, just because I like the taste of it. I'll get, you know, the healthy peanut butter too. I usually switch back and forth when I run out of this bottle. I'll get the peanut butter, uh, and then when I run out of that one, I'll get the almond, I kind of switch it up. I like to add cinnamon to this. Uh, this stuff right here, the green vibrance that he showed you, this stuff just has a lot of probiotics. It helps with digestion. It's a bunch of little guys running around in there helping you digest the right foods, and, you know, the foods that you eat and everything. It's good for immune system, circulation, nutrition, digestion, pH levels in the body. The pH levels is the acidity thing we were talking about with the lemon stuff. So it just gets you more in a pH base level instead of the uh, acidic level. Detoxification, stress relief. This is just really good stuff. Pick it up at, at you know any of your health stores. It's good to add. Make sure you get all, all your greens in. Then we got the egg whites. These are liquid egg whites. They were made safe by the company to be able to just pour it in there, blend it, and drink it. You can't do that with just egg whites out of an egg. Wouldn't recommend it. This company puts it puts the egg whites under a low heat so it kills any kind of bacteria or anything that, that can harm you. I don't know if the store-bought brands do that. You would have to do research to find out. This company, I get it online. It's a, uh, interna uh, egg Whites International, International Egg Whites. I'll put, you know, put a link somewhere in the description. Um, Eggology is another one. Eggology actually has flavors if you have an issue with drinking just these plain ones. It really doesn't taste like anything. You know, the consistency is a little weird, but uh, when you blend in a shake like this, you don't taste that anyway. It just tastes like a nice thick shake. So, I'll put about a cup and a half in there. That gives me about 35 grams of protein worth. For everybody, it'll be different. Okay, so I spit out the oil. That's it, doesn't taste bad. I don't really taste anything, you know? Just tastes like thicker water. Uh, that's it, spit it out, rinse out. Now, shake is done. It's coffee, let's see how it's doing. Oh yeah, it's perfect. I'll add some cinnamon to my coffee. Again, cinnamon's good for a bunch of stuff. It's gonna help with those blood sugar levels, which is so important when it comes to you know, blood sugar spiking and going down and that crazy spike to, and then drop is always gonna mess with your hormones and cause you to hold on to more uh, stomach fat. You wanna add cinnamon to a lot of your carbs or just add it to whatever you can. It's good, it tastes delicious. Now, when it comes to the coffee, I like to drink it with a straw so it, that it doesn't stay in your teeth, right? Defeat the whole purpose of the oil, pulling. Not really too masculine, so I'm just gonna just kinda now we got our shake, blend it up. I gotta get a better blender. Any recommendations? I actually forgot one thing to add. It's actually pretty important. This is uh, this is like the fountain of youth food that you gotta put in your diet in some way. I like to put it in my shakes, just blends it up. They're kind of tough to eat a little bit, but. Goji berries, Himalayan mountains. This is what they look like. They're kind of sweet. They're just like raisins, dried raisins, but they're, they're, they're tougher, they're harder. They're not as soft as raisins, tough to chew on. So that's why I like to just put them in my shake.
Not too much. Just like a handful like I had. Looks all green and gross, but you saw what we put in here. It wasn't anything bad or disgusting. It's just all blended together. So of course it's gonna be like a green, brown, ugly, swamp-like color. But it doesn't taste like that, I promise. There you have it. The protein shake. I'll drink this entire thing. This whole thing, this, I'll drink it all. I'm looking for the calories, I'm looking for the amount because I'm looking to you know, maintain or gain some muscle. If you're looking to lose weight, you can have this same exact thing, just what I would do is cut things. So I used an entire avocado. You would use just a half or a quarter of a avocado. Uh, the almond butter that I used, you would just, you, I used a tablespoon and a half, large tablespoon amount and a half. It was overflowing, you saw that. But that's because I'm looking for the extra calories. You would use a lot less, you know, quarter of that or uh, half of that. Play with the numbers, you know, play around with it, see what works for you. Uh, you can just do this so it fills up one bullet, one pint glass, one shaker cup, or take it with you wherever you're going in the morning. On the go. This is quick, it's easy. You just blend all the stuff together and then go. I always like to drink my breakfast just because it gets things done quicker and easier and I'm not prepping a full meal. And I get everything I need, the nutrients and the protein and, and all that stuff all in one shot. Good to go. Like I said, it really doesn't taste bad at all. You can also, if you use banana, use half because there's a lot of, a lot of sugar in banana. Uh, so if you're trying to lose weight, use half a banana. But the banana flavor is so strong that that and the peanut butter or the almond butter is gonna take over the flavor of anything else in there, like the kale, the spinach, or anything else. So the whole point of this uh, kind of juicing thing is that the majority of it has to be vegetables. You only wanna put one fruit in there because <clears throat> the fruit, like I said, has the sugar in it. That's what's gonna cause you to hold on to any kind of weight. Yes, it's better sugar than if you just use any kind of you know, man-made sugar. The whole point of juicing is the vegetables, to get the vegetables in, right? So, as you saw, I had spinach, kale, cucumber, um, carrots. Majority of it was vegetables. And then I had the apple. That was the only fruit that actually went in there. I personally recommend and like to use apples or berries or bananas. Those are my go-tos. But you can use whatever you want. I like to keep things simple, use a lot of the same stuff a lot of times so that if I do see uh, I'm not losing or I'm starting to gain too much, then I, it's easier to tweak. If you're going all over the place with everything that you're eating, it makes it a little tougher. So this is the way I do it. Try it, but just make sure that you use only one fruit and then the rest of it's vegetables. And I highly recommend having protein in it. I feel like protein in every meal is important. That's going to help break up everything else. That's going to help you know keep you strong. That's going to help you with the weight loss. You're dead set against the egg whites. For whatever reason, you can use protein powder, but again, it's man-made, right? So just remember, it's not, it's not clean, it's not pure protein powder. It's good once in a while, don't get me wrong, but you don't want to be having that every single morning. You know, try to get the egg whites and maybe cut it in half. Have half the egg whites, half the protein powder in the shakes. That's a lot of my morning routine. Uh, now basically what I'll do is check some emails, go on some social media. It's pretty important to have a morning routine, just that sets you off the same every day. You probably have one, you just never really thought about it. You probably do the same things every morning. Uh, it's good to kind of get into a routine of things that are gonna actually better your day. So I know some people like to stretch, some people like to do a little yoga or meditation or read a little bit. Some people just drink their coffee and go. Just try to get in the habit of doing something healthy in the morning that's gonna just make you better. Try to use something that I did, or take a piece of it, or take parts of it that you like, or take the whole thing, try it out. Try it for a week, see if you like it. But have some kind of a healthy morning routine. Just start it off the right way. Even if it's just with good thoughts, positive thoughts, positive vibes for starting out your day. Please leave a comment, tell me about your morning routine, what you do if you do something different or if you do something similar. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the like button if you like it. Thanks again for watching, see you in the next video.